What's up guys? Welcome back to a new video on this channel. Today is the first video of 2017 and I'm super happy, I'm super pumped about this new year, the new opportunities that it will bring and to just get back into designing in Sketch. And of course the first video of this year had to be about Sketch. Now I made a Twitter poll about uh, which app or which like creative way I should use and you voted for Sketch, the most of you. And I just want to jump into Sketch again, finally. It has been so long, I took the last month off to just go into other creative areas and I had a blast and I really had an awesome time. But right now, it's time to get back into Sketch. I want to design a profile UI because like in many apps, we have to design profile user interfaces and we have to work with images. That's why I downloaded uh, five images from Unsplash, which are these right here. And we're going to use them to fill in information into the actual profile UI. Now let's start by creating a new artboard. I'm going for the iPhone 7 one as usual. We now need a like top area, which I will just create by making such a rectangle which I will use as a mask for the top area. Now the top area will also contain a status bar. So we have to open up the template and we have to get our status bar, which is this one. Align it to the top like this with this button and it's going to be white probably. But maybe we should just start out by filling in the first photo into the mask, make it a mask. Right after that, we are simply able to drag in our photo to the correct position. It takes a second. And after that, we can simply make it smaller and fit it to our artboard, just like that. That's exactly what I wanted to do. We have the profile image, which is like this right here, just right there. You can make it a little bit smaller, adjust it and make it fit perfectly into the scene just like that. Now that's the first step. What I also want to add is like a top area which will contain a menu icon, a title which will just say my profile and a settings icon. So I need the material design icons. I use them so often before. And what we need, as I said, is the menu icon that we have right here. We can just copy it and paste it directly onto our artboard. And we need a, set, a settings icon. And the settings icon is just right here. You can also use your filter to get through all these icons because sometimes you just have this huge uh, icon set and you just want to get your icon, the icon that you want. And that means you have to filter, you have to search for it. So here they are in the sketch file. We can now just place them in the top area, like this, like the header area. And of course, we want the settings icon to, to be on like the right side of our screen, like that. And what we're going to need, as I said, is a text which is saying my profile. Just like that. Get it in, center it up and change the size so it's like perfectly styled like that. Now that's the top area, but I would also like to add some more details about the person. Now I would like to display some stats like the number of posts, the number of followers and how many people she's following and of course the name and so on. So for the name I'm just copying this profile layer. I'm dragging it down just like that and I'm calling it, I'm calling her like Kate Lopez or something like that. You can also just use the center alignment so we don't have to uh, use this button right here all the time. But you see that we can really read the font, read the text 
So that's why we are like creating a small walk around. What we could do is to add a simple fill on top of our photo and change the opacity to somehow like that. And we would have to make the text in a white color. We can of course also just do the opposite like that. But you still see that we can really read the text right here. So what we're going to do is to just create a fill, a gradient fill, which will help us to get it actually like we want it. So what we have to do is to grab the point right here, the point right there, just like that. So we have like a light overlay on top of our photo. Now we can make the font, the text even bigger like that. And now, right now, it's just super easy to read just what we wanted. Now let's add a small description. Now she's like a photographer from England, UK. So change the size, make it smaller, just like that. And now let's add some other stuff like the number of followers, the number of posts and the number of following. So we have these three text layers that I just copied. And for the moment we are just going to create a certain number like that. Maybe she is following these people and is followed by so many people. Right now we need to add some guides. So get over and go to canvas and show rulers just like that. Now what we're going to need is a new ruler at a certain precision. Our artboard has the size of 375. So we need four areas. We have to divide the uh, width right here by four to get the correct position. So we need 93.75. So head over to 93. 93 times two, 187. And times three is 281. Just like that. Now these are our guides which we will need to really get a correct aligned design. So right now you can just grab them and drag them to the correct position. Just like that. Super easy. I would like to just copy them and call them posts. Posts like that. Next one is following and the third one is followers. Now just select these three layers and just change the size of the layers of the text. You can now use your arrow keys to position them in the correct way like that. And like this is now the top area, the top part which is showing some stuff about the person, about the profile that we are on. But I would like to move on. I would like to work on the filling again because I think we can make it even more and visible just like that somehow. Maybe let's go by saying we want it to be like that. That's perfect. But now we are going to focus on the bottom area. The bottom area will contain images that this photographer took. But at first I'm going to group this up and call it top so we have a clean layer list. I would like to make it make two tabs, two tabs which will will be used for photos and videos. So what we have to do is to select both of them and change 
the size, the height. I would like to make them like white or something like that. If I want to make them white, of course, I have to just uh, use some borders for that, which is absolutely no problem. Just go like this. I'm grouping them up, call them tabs. Oops, tabs. And this is the second, and this is the first tab. Just like that. What we're then going to do is to zoom in a bit and to add a new text layer. Of course, right now we can just use these layers, these two right here, and drag them in right there. After we zoomed in, we can simply after that just rename them to photos and the other part as I said is videos like that super easy I want to highlight of course that this tab is currently active so I'm just copying this uh, this layer and call it indicator get rid of the border and just change the filling to like any color you like, maybe this dark or dark gray color, just like that. You can make it a bit smaller. And I think this will just work out fine for our project. Now what we need of course is a new mask for new uh, photos that we will place in this bottom area. Now what we're going to do is to create new rectangles, which we will then use for new masks. So you see we don't need uh, four photos, I downloaded four photos that we can use, but two are just enough for this project. So we have them right here, the one should be aligned to the right side, the other one on the, on the left side, and right, right after that we are simply dragging in one of the photos for the first layer, select the second one, and drag in another photo just like that. Now this looks super weird but we simply create a mask out of both of them but we have to select the second rectangle and say it shouldn't be a mask so ignore underlying mask just like that. Now select both photos and change their width to a certain value, position it onto the artboard we still have to make it smaller, like maybe around 300 pixels, just like that. It's actually super easy to work with images in Sketch and it's really a pleasure. It's really a fun time in Sketch. After you position them correctly and change the size, like the stuff that we are usually doing, and the stuff that I'm doing right now and finish finishing very soon, like that. After we've done that, we are actually simply done. I'm going to hide the ruler so we can just have a plain view on our layer that we just created, which is this beautiful work, beautiful photo scene, a profile. And guys, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. The download link for this sketch file is down in the video description. I hope you had a fun time. I'm looking forward to so many great new videos in 2017. I'm really like pumped about it. Looking forward. Thanks for your time and enjoy your week. See you.